for their reserve time as well. So 12 Ten seconds on the clock. Ahead. What is this last hero going to be for Mineski? Will it be greedy? Will it be... ...the minutes here to help the Amber for the first, I would say, maybe one or two minutes. Then Amber should be able to deal with the lane by himself. Three stacks of poison so far. So Ben might be taking a significant amount of damage for this lane. next. Oh, Cast. Oh, top. Oh, they right. get him. That is bad. That is real bad. Like what I mentioned. How are they supposed to transition into the mid game when it comes to picking up some um, of these fanatic heroes? I, it depends on how farm the void is. I think Sifling Void you generally want to build. Oh, Ohio, he misses his stun. He's going to be in trouble. Gets a Maledict on him. Oh, oh. the bash. He has a Carapace still. Oh, very nice. And actually, it looks like Raging Potato is going to be in trouble because the TPs are flying through. Mushi comes in. They're going to get the kill onto Raging Potato. Counter blades are found. And Ohio also. When you have a Lich. And I'm a little bit worried too because it feels like this Lich pick might become redundant because it doesn't feel like he's going to provide anything to yeah. the team outside of the lanes. That's why they were thinking, oh, they got got a kill. Is this solo kill? Solo what? kill with the Vendetta. That is real, real, real bad. Oh my god. Why are, why is this happening? Oh, here comes Amber. They're going to get a secondary kill. Man, Ohio absolutely doing work. Mushi here, destroying the enemy safe lane twice in a row. Oh gosh, that's getting worse and worse. We're reaching critical condition here actually for, for Medeski. We see a raw top, Bokarina gonna try for a solo kill on his own. Has two boss summon up, TP by 343. One more? Yeah, I get them. So, so close. And that's when you level one wild axes as well. And he still gets the kill. Looks like we're gonna have yep, another action lane. down bottom here as we hear both Mushi and Ohio. So Mushi coming in for the backstab here. Raging Potato not level six yet, so there is no Chronosphere. He does have Time Walk. Time Walk's out. Mushi gonna keep on chasing. He wants to commit the chains as well. They will get this kill onto Potato. They won't. They will, will they? He's burning again. Now they're gonna get Jules. He's stuck around for a little bit too long. Ohio's gonna keep on chasing. And Mushi is coming back in, even maledicted. He wants this kill. He can't burn, but he does have chains available, and Jules will drop as well. This is what Fnatic needs to go into the mid game. Ohio, unfortunately, is stuck in the tree. Put on Shadow Demon, smoke into the enemy jungle, place a ward, and make a move. Okay, they're actually going to run into two. Bokarino and Jules, DJ and Mushi. They actually go straight onto DJ. Chrono onto both of them as well. So DJ will be dropping, but here comes Ohio trying to go for a snap. The chains from Mushi. They're going to get a two man impale. That's two heroes dead for Medeski. They want to keep chasing. They want Bokarino, but Mushi not quick enough by himself. And in the end, oh no, three four three gets killed off by the boars. That was so so close because they can they can they don't, have, they don't have much of a choice though because they are in yeah. this position. Oh, That's a glimpse. Cast six foot under. Easy kill for the mid one. They actually get disruption as well. They manage to catch up Ben Herb. When do you want to go? Here comes Ohio. He's come in. Ben's had a strike. Mana drain. He's blinked out. The raw going to be going on straight to Mushi. Can they kill him off? This entrance for it's so pesky. He actually gets disrupted to buy time. Axis as well. Can he get out of this? Mushi, he dies. Does not have enough to get out. Now it's me Fnatic on the retreat now. Can Arcane Boots at 12 minutes? Uh, that is one big nix. But Mushi there being careless and got caught. He fights back. Comes back to the fight. Gets the chains. They want to fight this. It's such a disaster here because they just lost the faceless void. He just came back and they already lost a glimpse as well. They managed to catch out the Medusa but hurt by himself, his team. They can't do anything. They need to let him go. Rest in pieces, Ben. You'll be well remembered by your teammates. So, fanatic. They get more kills, even though they lost Mushi. 46 HP, one more hit. They are, they get the deny with the Lich. They send it back, so Raging Potato gets the Chrono, but he gets glimpsed back by 343. Now it's just Ben Her, the boar is here, but 343 will be going down. So very, very nice tonight coming out from Cast, yep. and they also get drained. There's no way to get that mana back. Yep. And here he is, top lane again. He's gonna dispel the smoke, but do they have detection? Oh, they have no detection. Oh, they, they still kill Raging Potato. They did come in with the Raw from Bakarino, but Raging Potato, he still dies anyway. It was so close, but Mushi gets the last hit. And now Cast, he wants a TP. Is there chains available? There's not. Uh, that is actually, but they weren't able to find him. Instead, Bakarino is by himself chasing with his Necro book, trying to go on the 343 TP. The stun disruption. Disruption from DJ, going to get that kill onto Bakarino. Fortunately, Mineski are crumbling. And if you take a look at how. But Fnatic seems to be in a very, very good position. Oh. Uh, DJ might get caught here. Oh, they even gonna commit the Chronosphere. That's how desperate Mineski is for kills. Oh, jeez. Mm, there's not much options left. In this bag, 
Gonna send him straight down six foot under. They're not committing, they're worried about Void, but he's already used the Chrono, so he's not an issue, but the roll comes through onto Ohio. They get the chains of Fushi. Ben her dropping super low. They just need to finish him off a little bit more. Disruption is there. The setup. Can DJ kill him? They just need a little bit to kill off this Medusa. Just a little bit. He gets the ult off. Ben Hur's turning onto DJ who gets slowed up by all of the summons. And then Ben Hur, he lives on this Medusa. Oh, Ohio is coming. Oh, Mushi, can he get this kill? Looks like he will. Chains is up. Ohio links in and they get that Medusa. Meanwhile, mid one in that bottom lane has got the T3 and has gotten close to a Rax. Mid one's turning around. Look at how quickly he's doing damage. Cuts is gonna die. The Lich, he melts into illusions. Jules may as well. But this freaking Terror Blade is hitting like an absolute beast right now. He's hitting for about. 229 damage per hit. He is a monster and 3.9k gold on top of that. Mid one is unstoppable. Oh, you say he's a monster, but no thanks to his team. Four <laughs> men keeping the five heroes. Well, French Potato, they're in trouble now. Here comes Fnatic. Can they kill the Void? They popped his wand. He still has that Chronosphere. And yeah. out of Fnatic, they're very hesitant to fight. It is a small area. They can get caught in Chronos. They go for the steal. Boccarino very low. He's the left last one behind. Uh. And he gets taken down. That's the Beastmaster glimpse as well onto Jewel. There's no Lich ult. Man, that, no that feels so good when you're on the off lane and you're mid TP's down to save you in the laning phase and you save him later into the game. And you tell him, that's what you get for helping me in the early game. And TP sort of function the same. Oh, um, DJ, he's actually looking to just throw down an Observer Ward. Actually gets pinged out here by a, a Bacarino, so probably... Oh, top lane. Oh, top lane. Oh, gosh. Get a kill, but... That's the support for the safe lane. Oh, he's actually time walks and cancel. They do have disruptions. That's going to be the end of Raging Potato. You have to be desperate to grab a support kill if you're safe. Something like a Scardi to give him a slow and as well as extra stats he, and a little bit of damage. He needs it. way too many items. Like against Nyx late game, you need a BKB on Medusa. Like without a BKB, he's going to just abuse you with mana burning team fights. So for for them to be able to win this game, the Medusa, oh, top lane, they call it Jules once more. But regardless, they need the Medusa to be so far. See, and I really don't see uh, Medeski being able to come out of this. So Ben Hur, he's the one that's going to be able uh. to throw the creeps, but he's not doing anything. Ohio comes in, drains his mana, disruption, Chronosphere is there, but where's the follow-up? They're going to get mid one essentially, but he has Aegis, he really doesn't mind. Aegis is thrown, Ohio, he's slow. Roar is there, but they haven't killed anyone except for the Terror Blade. That Terror Blade's gonna come back in. Ohio is gonna die to death for nothing gets cancelled. Two is dead, Disruptor is dead as well. Terror Blade, he's still here. He's fighting, he's fighting, but he's actually really late. Steel is raining potatoes, HP. He's still fighting. The Terror Blade is not moving. He is a stone. Ben Hur is down. There's so many Medeski heroes down. Cast is being chased by Bushi. This Lich is going to die. Raging Potato comes in as well, but him by himself, he's not going to be able to do anything up against a Fnatic. Just a time walk out of here. Ben Hur buys back as well as that Witch Doctor. T3 is down, but Fnatic happens to do nothing. Oh god, Ben Hur drops so, so low. Disruption, more mid one illusions. These Raxes are soon to die, and Fnatic, they can only look at this and say, what do we do? What can they do? They can't do anything. There's with, just too much. Without Chrono, that's, even with Chrono, it's like difficult. So, they have oh. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh! Raging Potato! <laughs> they used everything! The Q Illusion? So, they act, I have Okay, I have a feeling they thought it They just play, played badly that day. They had a very rough start. They were nervous maybe because they are not used to playing qualifiers. They got a raw on DJ. Some consolation prize, I guess. Before... Look, at, look at DJ's new. Roshan, I guess, is done. <laughs> no Chrono, no contest. No Chrono, no contest. GG, no re. This is more or less just very. Land a big Chrono, that's the only hope. Or maybe get lucky with the Stone Gaze as well, perhaps. Oh, oh, not like it, this. Not like this. Oh my gosh, he just got decimated. He has no buyback. But that pretty much ends any hopes of Mineski winning the team fight, being able to defend their base. Finally pops the stone gaze, but does Ben Hur die before he actually finishes it? Nope. This for a little bit longer. Mid one still here, gonna steal Jules of HP, and he just gets decimated. Mushi comes in, two man chains, and this is gonna be sealing Mineski's fate as Fnatic 
secure their final win of the round robin stage of the SEA qualifiers TI6. Oh jeez, this was just a ruffle stomp coming out from Fnatic. There was no chance for Medeski. I mean, from start to finish, they had the Lich pick. The laning phase didn't go very well, and like and you pointed out, even during the game, Fnatic was just a better team in terms of distributing farm. Terrorblade pushed the tier one very, very early. Went to the jungle, gave the lane to the disruptor. Shadow Demon was like roaming and stacking for the Ember Spirit, and then Ember made two rotations to help the Nyx. Basically, destroyed the safety of Minasi and Nyx because of the 